Good morning, everyone. Today is May 29th, 2021. We are going to chant some bujo this morning. Some bujo will appear on the screen, so please keep watching the screen. Please show me in the show. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Sunamanda, 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 Now I would like to share the words from Jinen Hongi. So please join me in Gashou. Please put your palms together. Jinen to you wa Jiwa Onozu kara to you Gyoja no hakarai ni arazu Shikara shimu to you kotoba nari Nen to you wa Shikara shimu to you kotoba Gyoja no hakarai ni arazu Yorai no chikai ni te aru ga yue ni Hongi to you wa Yorai no on chikai naru ga yue ni Shikara shimu ru o Hongi to you Kono Hongi wa On chikai nari keru yue ni Subete Gyoja no hakarai na ki o mochi te この故に、他力には、義なきを義とする、つと知るべきなり。次年というは、もとより、しからしむるという言葉なりと。次年、of it mean, 次 means of itself, not through the practices calculation. It signifies being made so. 年 means to be made so. It is not through the practices calculation. It is through the working of the Tathagata's verb. Hongi signifies being made so through the working of the Tathagata's vow. It is not, it is the working of the vow where there is no room for calculation on the part of the practice. Know therefore that in other part, no working is true working. Jinen signifies being made so from the very beginning. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namanda Butz. Namanda Butz. So today's part on Jinen Hongi describes what the word Jinen Hongi means. The word Jinen appears 54 times in the Raja Sutra, and Shinran Shun explains that the primal vow had established and fulfilled to receive all beings into the pure land, and none of this is through our calculation. And we are always in the working of the primal vow, and our calculation is, is not needed at all. Honen Shongin, the teacher of Shinran Shongin, said something like this. Fire raises high into the air. Water streams down low. There are sour-flavored sweets and sweet-flavored sweets. These are the truths of naturalness. Just like this, the working of the name Namo Amida Butsu of the primal vow saves all beings of Nembutsu. This is being made so. It is natural thing. And I don't have English translation of these words by Honen Shongin, but it was in Jodo Shu Zensho. It is in Japanese, but if you are interested, please look for the link in the description section. And it is interesting that Honen Shonghi mentions sweets. I'm not sure how, you know, he liked eating sweets or not. But it is also interesting to know that there were sour flavored sweets in Kamakura period, which is like uh, 13th century. And now we have all kinds of sweets, but, you know, we cannot control the taste of it. It is already made as sour sweet or bitter or whatever. It is not our calculation to make the taste of sweets into something different. So it is all the working of the primal vow. So it is called no working is true working. You know, the primal vow is made for the sentient beings to entrust themselves to the working of the primal vow. So if we add something from our side, it is not being made so or natural anymore. Our birth into the pure land is 100% through the working of the primal vow. That is why it is called Abha Power. So of course we practice Nembutsu or we say Nembutsu, 
But it is not that we see in the name Butsu becoming the cause of our birth into the pure land. It is the working of the primal vow. And the working of the primal vow causes us to utter the name Namo Amida Butsu. And this is a really important part. And uh, tomorrow, we have more of the explanation on Jinen. So I like to conclude my talk for today here, and I will explain more about Jinen tomorrow. So I hope today's explanation helped. And in closing, please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Namo Amida So this will conclude today's morning service, and I hope you will have a great day today and hope to see you tomorrow morning. So thank you for attending today's service.